Thank you for visiting Mr. Shoe Guy here on YouTube. Hey, it's Robert, Mr. Shoe Guy. Today's video is a haul video. If you like to see the kind of things that I pick up when I'm out in the wild and I'm out uh, sourcing shoes, you know, basically buying items for resale. Um, if you're new to this channel and you don't know what I do, I buy shoes and I sell them. I buy, as, buy them for as cheaply as I can and I sell them for as big of a profit as I can. It's actually quite lucrative. This is a haul video. These are four pairs of shoes that I actually bought today and I just wanted to do a quick uh, quick little video to kind of show you what I bought, why I bought it, and how much I expect to make. So uh, the first pair of shoes is right here. This is a pair of, let's see what the tag says. These are J. Crew. These are J. Crew uh, boots. As you can see, the texture is a suede, very fine suede, very high grade, um, very high quality type of a shoe. And as you can see, the condition is in uh, is very very good. Just wanted to kind of get some visuals of that. Um, if you probably will drop your, your jaw will probably drop when you find out how much I spent on these. Um, only twenty five dollars. And J. Crew makes some very high quality, high end shoes. Um, I spent twenty five dollars on these, and the resale on these is guaranteed over ninety bucks. I've sold for I've sold this particular type of shoe, um, this suede type of boot, um, for somewhere between one hundred to one hundred and fifty, just depending on the brand um, and the condition. And again, as you can see, the condition is really, really, really high, uh, really good. As you can see right here, I mean, this sole has basically never been used. Um, and when you're reselling shoes, the condition of the sole is a huge portion of the resale value. So as you can see, once one more time, I mean, the condition is very good on these. Moving on to the next pair, I've got a pair of a solo hiking boots. Um, A-S-O-L-O, -O, a solo. Um, this is one of the more athletic um, active wear type of brands that is very um, popular with those who hike, who do walks and, you know, trails. Um, as you can see, that is the brand. Um, basically, it's a Solo, A-S-O-L-O, and you see the latitude, longitude, they just all, almost always have that on their, uh, on their branding. So, yeah, this is a really good pair of boots. Um, I'll be honest with you, the condition of these is not perfect. It's not perfect. You can see that there's some flaws in the lacing here and also there um, and then if you will actually see the um, the toes there's some wear in the toes you know these these have definitely been walked in before um, maybe a few times maybe several times so I just wanted to show you that the condition is not perfect but there's still a reason that I bought them also I want to show you on the bottom of the shoes um, you'll notice that on this particular style of shoe you'll often see this yellow portion right here that is the Vibram sole and it um, actually is upside down but if you turn it this way it actually reads Vibram so in case you've never seen that before basically what that means is it's a superior quality type of a sole and it goes on a lot of active wear um, it usually goes on the best brands and a solo is one of the best brands in hiking um, so if you can just kind of get the visuals of uh, some of the sole wear there are like little holes here uh, this is really right here what the whole sole should look like but it doesn't so it's obviously been used some um, a good amount but regardless of that, these shoes should still sell for a good amount. So I only bought these for one real reason. And it is because the price of entry was only $5. I found these at Goodwill for $4.99. And uh, the resale value on a mint condition pair of Solos is definitely over $150, sometimes closer to $200, depending on the model. Um, for me to have only spent five dollars on this on this on this uh, pair of shoes, I was definitely willing to take the risk of that five dollars never being resold. So, um, the reason I bought these is because I only spent five dollars on them. Had it been twenty-five dollars for the same pair in this condition, I wouldn't have done it. But for five dollars, it was definitely worth it to me because I'm sure that I can sell these for more than five dollars in the future. So that's why I bought this particular pair. Moving on to the next pair. I have a pair of, I can't remember which these are, these are Cole Han 
desert boots. If you'll see right here, um, the styling of this shoe looks very much like a Clark's desert boot. The way that this particular shoe is cut and it goes like that and it the way that it's shaped that's the desert boot, boot sorry desert boot style it is um you will definitely see here on the texture it is a suede kind of nappy texture um, so that's what the desert boot style looks like and it's been imitated by many brands but um Kohan is one brand that has done it particularly well over the years um in this particular model, uh, I should say, with the desert boot style, you usually get a kind of a um, a sole that is less uh, hard and more that is um, crepe. Um, but this particular one, Cole Haan has done a um, a leather sole. So you will see that this sole is more firm, it's harder, and it is more dressy than the desert boot style generally is seen. It's a great shoe, and I actually bought this for myself. <laughs> I was kind of selfish. I spent $25 on this pair as well at Goodwill, and I'll probably keep these for myself. I don't keep many pairs of shoes that I find, but I like the way these looked, and I'm a big fan of desert boots. So, again, you can see the condition is very, very good. I don't see any reason why um, these aren't, if I wanted to resell these for anywhere from, you know, 70 to 110 I don't see why that wouldn't work and again I've sold this pair uh, this style of shoe and Cole Haan's uh, Desert Boots version uh, several times so I know that this uh, the resale for a shoe of this style in this condition color scheme it, it definitely there's good resale money in it okay so the last pair that I've got here that I found today I spent $25 on these and um, I should probably clarify in this video, I don't spend $25 on all of my shoes. Let's make that crystal clear. If you read my book, 50 Brands to Buy and Why, you'll know I always say buy as low as you can. But when you're looking at shoes kind of like these, um, really nice boots, uh, you definitely want to spend up and you're going to have a hard time finding all of these for $5, kind of like that one. So you're going to have to spend up. Now when you come across this kind of boot, you're again you're going to need to spend up on it this is a red wing boot and you can see the condition is very very good very good um, this is a black model which I don't often run across uh, run run across I usually find these in like brown dark uh, oxblood kind of that maroon burgundy color or I'll find these in a light tan I never find these in black but um because it's black it kind of reminds me of that Doc Martin look but this brand is Red Wing that's the brand of it um, very good condition as you can see it's been used some but if you look at the toe you know there's really hardly any creasing and um, the sole is in very good shape so I'll just turn this over so you can see that as well again what you're looking at on these on this active type of shoe this is more of a work shoe than it is a work boot than it is um, like a hiking boot but um, it's, it's got that Vibram sole again so again it's a hallmark hallmark of quality so you're going to be looking out for that on these type of boots uh, definitely a good buy I spent $25 the wind is blowing out here I'm going to kind of wrap up this video in a few minutes but I just wanted to see, you to see just some of the shoes that I'm sourcing on a daily basis there's so many different types of boots and shoes and sandals and stuff out there maybe I'll do a video on sandals um, next but I just wanted you to kind of see what I'm out there sourcing thanks for watching Mr. Shoe Guy um, if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below maybe any questions comments you know if you want to troll some and just say something stupid that's fine as well thanks for visiting Mr. Shoe Guy here on YouTube y'all take care and have a great day Okay.